Okay, so some bad news for some Rocket fans over here. Um, well, James Harden fans in general, too. This is not some good news for James Harden. So the NBA is reviewing video of Harden partying in a club without a mask. Um, they are trying to determine whether it violated COVID policy of the NBA, which, if so, will put his availability at risk. He tested negative Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Now, the NBA policy prohibits players from going to bars, lounges, clubs, or any social gatherings of more than 15 people. Harden has said that he has been in, compli in compliance with NBA health policy, said he attended a seated dinner for a friend who was promoted, who was promoted at her job. Harden, in Harden's statement, he said this, and I quote, one thing after another, I went to show love to my homegirl at her event, not a strip club, because she, I'm sorry, because she's becoming a boss and putting her people in positions to succeed, and now it's a problem. Harden said in the post, and he said, every day it's something different. No matter how many times people try to drag my name under, 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 you can't. The reel always ends on top. And this was reported by Tim McMahon. Um, Nate, I'll pass it on to you. What do you think about James Harden going to a club without a mask? Listen, listen, it's one thing to support friends. I ain't got a problem with that part. What I have a problem with is... You're, you're not following your policy. I, I, look, I get you're outside of the NBA. You don't have to follow their rules. But that is, you know, even though you're outside of the NBA and you think you can't follow the rules, well, you're wrong. You do. You have to. It's that simple. Um, and I understand James Harden wants out of Houston, and that's totally fine. But, like, if he wants out of Houston, he's doing a really – he's really – he's doing a really damn good job in expressing that. I cannot believe this dude went in a club without a mask. I mean, I can't believe it. I really can't. Uh, like, dude, you gotta follow the rules, man. And, and 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 what gets me even more mad about this is just like all these other guys that do the drugs and smoke the weed and all of that. You get paid millions and millions of dollars. You got all these kids. You got all these athletes looking up to you, and this is what you're doing. Come on now. I mean, I mean, come on. I, I look, look. Like I said, I ain't got no problem with you showing love to your home girl or, or something like that. I ain't got a problem with that. I really don't. I do the same things too, but if you're gonna do that, you gotta you gotta apply by the rules. You signed though you signed on that dotted line that you have to comply by the rules. It's that simple. You have to follow it. And and like I said, you got all these kids, all these athletes looking up to you. You're getting paid millions and millions of dollars to do this. Come on, man. I, I mean, come on. What else is there for me to say? You're muted. Sorry. Right. Yeah. I'm Sorry about that. But another question. Let me ask you this, okay, before it passes on to me. Mm -hmm. do you, uh, what do you think about his statement regarding this issue? Look, one thing I have to know that I understand it's like, but here, here's, a, here's a problem. And like I said before, you didn't comply by the rules. That's why they're looking into this. You didn't wear a mask. The NBA requires you to wear a mask. You're not supposed to be going in social gatherings of more than 15 people. You probably did that. So one thing after another, at this point, you're doing it to yourself. Because just the other day, you were throwing basketballs at your damn teammates. I mean, come on now, dude. One thing after another, at this point, you're doing it to yourself. It's that simple. Right. And I'll, and I'll say this. Now, I don't know what went on between him and his teammate to the point where he threw the ball at him. I don't know. I can't speak on that. I'm not going to speak on that because I don't know enough about it. But I will say this. The NBA is going to have a very strict COVID policy because – you also got to realize that now you're starting to kind of travel a little bit and you're on a very, very tight schedule as the NBA. They're going to have a tight policy on this because they don't want, because think about this way, the more games they get delayed, the more they got to remake them up. And then the more times you remake, uh, you make them up is the longer the season is going to take. And nobody wants the season to drag on longer than what it should be. If you understand what I'm saying. Right. Nobody wants that because if it drags on longer then you kind of, then who knows if it could drag on through the Olympics. We, they, the NBA's goal right here is to get the season done and then go right to the Olympics. They're not trying to drag it into the Olympics, okay? Because we still got people who want to represent our country in, at the U.S. Olympics. So with that being said, James Harden is just putting that at risk. You know what I'm saying? And I completely agree with you 100%. He shouldn't be at clubs without a mask, okay? I understand he wanted to support his, um, his friend, but again, you can't, like, you're doing, the, you're doing the wrong way with this, man. At least wear a mask, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. At least give them some type of argument to look about. This is no argument. He's saying he's coming to compliance. Well, I got news for him. He's not. Yeah. He's not. You showed up to a place with more than 15 people. Okay. Sat at a dinner, which is a close, you sat at a table with a bunch of close, around close people. You know what I'm saying? 
which means a lot of people did not have a mask because you're seated at you're seated at a dinner, which means you got to take your mask off in order to eat. That's that's plain common sense. Number two, number three, okay, it's because it's a whole club. You don't know who's been in there, and honestly, just putting everybody at risk. Yeah, right. And you're not even you're not even allowed in bars, lounges, or clubs to begin with. So why are you doing it? I don't understand what's compliance there. Because yeah, the right. video. We, was a video, the video we seen was a video of you without a mask. We didn't see no mask on your face in that video. So, I mean, look, I, I, completely, dis I completely disagree with James Harden. I think he will take some uh, repercussions for this. Unfortunately, the Rockets are going to have to take some repercussions for this because now, because now they got to go to like uh, a certain time in the season without James Harden. And I mean, if he wants to be out of, if he wants to be out of Houston, like you said, he's doing a great job of it. But if he wants to be out of Houston, then honestly, then honestly, just then, then talk to the people about it. But don't be doing all this type of stuff, all this nonsense and BS. Yeah, I, um, I, I fully agree. I mean, you know, this isn't a way to be showing yourself, you know, um, if you want out of Houston. Like, I, we understand you do. We're not, you're not happy with the franchise. I completely understand that. But this is not a way to be showing that because you look at it and you really do get released by the Rockets. They're going to see that you were doing this kind of stuff. Do you really think they're going to consider that? I mean, come on now, dude. I, I mean, like, he's going to he, – I'm not going to say he's going to completely mess himself up, but he's going to mess his resume up, and that's not going to look good on him. Um, but as always, you know, we don't we don't wish for bad things to happen. We do wish them the best of luck. Um, but – Please, kids, if you're watching this video and you become a professional athlete, just just be smart about your decisions. It's really the best be way, best way we can put it.